Welcome to PH Red TV. In this video we're going to discuss an overview of tetanus disease. Tetanus is a serious bacterial infection that affects the nervous system and causes muscles throughout the body to tighten. It's also called lockjaw because the infection often causes muscle contractions in the jaw and neck. However, it can eventually spread to other parts of the body. Tetanus infection can be life-threatening without treatment. Approximately 10 to 20 percent of tetanus infections are fatal. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or CDC, tetanus is a medical emergency that requires immediate treatment in a hospital. Fortunately, tetanus is preventable through the use of a vaccine. However, this vaccine does not last forever. Tetanus booster shots are needed every 10 years to ensure immunity. Bacteria called Clostridium tetani cause tetanus. Spores of the bacteria can be found in dust, dirt, and animal droppings. Spores are small reproductive bodies produced by certain organisms. They're often resistant to harsh environmental conditions, such as high heat. A person can become infected when these spores enter the bloodstream through a cut or deep wound. The bacteria spores then spread to the central nervous system and produce a toxin called tetanospasma. This toxin is a poison that blocks nerve signals from your spinal cord to your muscles. This can lead to severe muscle spasms. Tetanus infection has been associated with crush injuries, injuries with dead tissue, burns, puncture wounds from piercings, tattoos, injection drug use, or injury, such as stepping on a nail, and wounds contaminated with dirt, feces, or saliva. Less commonly, it's been associated with animal bites, dental infections, insect bites, chronic sores and infections. Tetanus is not contagious from person to person. The infection occurs worldwide, but is more common in hot, damp climates with rich soil. It's also more common in densely populated areas. Tetanus affects nerves that control your muscles, which can lead to difficulty swallowing, especially those in your jaw, abdomen, chest, back, and neck. Other common tetanus symptoms are fast heart rate, fever, sweating, and high blood pressure. The incubation period, in which the time between exposure to the bacteria, and the onset of illness is between 3 and 21 days. Symptoms typically appear within 14 days trusted source of initial infection. Infections occur faster after exposure are typically severe and have a worse prognosis. Your doctor will perform a physical exam to check for symptoms of tetanus, such as muscle stiffness and painful spasms. Unlike many other diseases, tetanus is not generally diagnosed through laboratory tests. However, your doctor may perform lab tests to rule out diseases with similar symptoms. These include meningitis, a bacterial infection that affects the brain and spinal cord, or rabies, a viral infection that causes brain swelling. Your doctor will also base a tetanus diagnosis on your immunization history. You're at a higher risk of tetanus if you haven't been immunized or if you're overdue for a booster shot. Treatment depends on the severity of your symptoms. Tetanus is typically treated with a variety of therapies and medications, such as antibiotics such as penicillin to kill the bacteria in your system, tetanus immune globulin to neutralize toxins that bacteria have created in your body, muscle relaxers to control muscle spasms, the tetanus vaccine given along with the treatment, cleaning the wound to get rid of the source of the bacteria. In some cases, a surgical procedure called debridement is used to remove dead or infected tissue. If you have difficulty swallowing and breathing, you may need a breathing tube or ventilator. Severe muscle spasms as a result of tetanus can also cause serious health complications. Vaccination can prevent tetanus infections, but only if you receive your booster shots on schedule. However, it doesn't provide lifelong protection. Children need to get a booster shot at 11 or 12 years of age. Adults then need a booster vaccine every 10 years after that. Check with your doctor if you aren't sure if you're up to date on your shots. Proper treatment and cleaning of wounds can also help prevent the infection. If you're injured outside and think your injury has made contact with soil, call your healthcare provider and ask about your risk of tetanus. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new in today's topic. Thank you for stay tuning in. See you again soon here at PHRED TV.